Welcome to another Red Light Edition. This is yours truly, left side of the brain. Without any hesitation, let's get right into it. What I want to talk about tonight is the myth of morality. That's right. I've been doing a lot of contemplating, a lot of meditating, and a lot of evaluating things since the last time you heard from me. That's what existence is, right? I mean, taking everything into perspective. That's the definition of existence. Uh, if I'm not going to evaluate everything, contemplate on everything, and meditate about everything, then I don't exist. So that's where I've been, and that's what I've been doing. And without further ado, let's get into the latest contemplations. We're going to talk about this thing called morality. Morals. What does it mean? I have come to the conclusion that this life that we live, it has nothing to do with morality. And why I say that is because the term morality, it has a loose definition. Morality is subjective. It's not something that has a solid definition. And I'm going to tell you why. Even amongst gangsters, even amongst people who operate in the underworld, crime organizations, crime syndicates, they have codes of morality that will go against what we would call the law or government officials. In crime organizations, they have a certain morality of you don't squeal, you don't snitch. They have an anti-snitching code. Now, think about it. They'll tell each other not to, not to snitch, but the things that they are telling each other not to snitch about are things that go against the morality code of the law that we follow. You have mob bosses, you have, like I said, these in the underground world of crime, even though they are doing crime, you don't squeal. That's a part of their morality. You know how we have the Ten Commandments? Their morality is thou shalt not squeal. And the punishment is death many times if they catch up with you. Now think about the morality of, let's say, religious morality. Let's say Christianity, for instance. You have the Ten Commandments. Thou shall not kill. Thou shall not steal. Thou shall not commit adultery. Thou shall not covet thy neighbor's wife. And the list goes on and on, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And if you break one of the Ten Commandments, you are also dealt a punishment, which is hellfire. So you see where I'm going with this? It's subjective. It's not universal. It's not something that has a solid, all-inclusive definition. You see, it's subjective to whoever is setting the rules of conduct. You see, 
And this is what I've come to understand. This is the reason why a lot of us, the United Souls, this is why we go through the things that we go through. Because we have these codes of conduct built inside of us. We believe that our morality matters. Yeah, that's what I'm getting at. Thank you, Spirit. We think that our morality matters to the greater community that's around us. Let me, let me hurt, let me, let me um, give you this reality blunt. They don't care about your morality. I'm here to tell you. And I don't mean to hurt your feelings, but that's the reality of morality. They don't care about your individual personal morality. Because you have all type of mor morality. Satanists, they have a certain morality that they live by. You have Isl Islamic morality. You have Christian morality. You have Buddhist morality. You have all types of moralities. Do you all get what I'm saying? Yeah, it's been a while since I did one of these, but I need y'all to snap back into reality right now. Get back in, in line. Get all that other stuff out of your mind. This is a new teaching to go along with everything that we have spoke about. Morality is an individual thing. It is a subjective morality. You got... Why do you think they have wars in this world in the first place? Because all of these different nations, they have different definitions of morality. And one person's morality may conflict with another person's morality. So who is right? You see, that's why it's subjective. Who is right? At the end of the day, who has the right morality? So after thinking about all of this, I had to find out where do I fit in in the midst of all of these various moralities. And it dawned upon me that my morality is to stay true to myself. That's the morality that I practice. You see, and what that morality means is I don't allow other people's codes of conduct. I don't allow their morality to, to dictate what I deem to be right or wrong. You get what I'm saying? Now, there are certain universal principles that we have spoken about on this channel, but then you have other strict rules and codes of conduct that they set up for us. Do y'all understand wh where this is going? Now, this is the type of video, this is the type of red light edition where you can actually personalize this to fit something that may be taking place in your life dealing with morality and people around you because all of this relates to the human prison bar system but you have to take this upon yourself and relate it to your own personal codes of conduct and you know issues of morality that you are dealing with because that's what I have realized in my time away from the production of these videos. I have come to know myself even more by coming more in tune with my personal morality. And that's 
a way that you can also practice your monk lifestyle. Now, it's certain moralities like do unto others as you would have them do unto unto you. You know, the golden rule. Um, I agree with that. But what I don't agree with is doing unto others based upon what they deem to be right. So they can do something to me based upon how they feel about it. Now, certain courtesies and social norms that I don't have a issue with, you see. But to bend it any further than that, that would be going against my morality. One of my moralities is not allowing other people to dictate me. I think it's immoral to force your morality upon someone else. You see? So this is one of these personal videos. We haven't touched on this before. This is one of these personal videos. And, I'm, and when I say personal, you have to take this and define it based upon your morality. It's still... It's still united souls. It's still um, living for yourself and not for others. But each one of us, we have personal things that we deal with. Because look at it like this. None of us have the same. None of us have the same handprint. Right? None of us have the same amount of hairs upon our head. You see? We each have our own individual DNA. So it's virtually impossible to try to fit everybody in the same morality codes of conduct. For the most part. Now, there are some universal principles of morality. But I'm talking about the idiosyncrasies and those little Things that make us who we are as individuals. You see? That's what I'm speaking about. And I have realized that sometimes that's why I stay to myself a lot of times. Because I understand that my morality is different from a lot of people's. That's around me. Because... I may do certain things that they deem not right. And a majority of these people, they have a certain way of doing things that if I go against it, they they going to automatically ostracize me. I'm automatically going to stand out. And that goes against everything we teach about. You see, I don't need nobody to hug me. I have I hug myself. And that's another thing. We need to start being our own self-approval. Instead of trying to live up to somebody else's expectation. And these are some of the things I've been thinking about on my time away. And it also creates personal growth. You get to know yourself. I don't do everything like you. You see? You're not going to do everything like me. Respect is a mutual thing. I understand that. But sometimes I respect you by not coming around you sometimes and you, and vice versa that's why you have to stay away from people sometimes we call it giving each other space and that's where that's where I've been i haven't been doing videos as much but it's going to pick back up you know 
when the new year come in. Because it's a respect thing. And this is how I do in my personal life. I know certain people, say if you're from a religious family, right? Say your family have certain morals that you don't have, but you still respect them. You see? You may go to like a Christmas celebration or something, a family gathering, a family reunion. They have certain, they may pray. You see? They may pray to God or whatever in the name of whatever God they worship. You may bow your head out of respect, but you may not have the same moral understanding as it relates to God and everything like they do, but you still respect it. And in the same, in the same, in the same venue, I expect, no, I don't expect anything from people. That's another thing. That's a, that can be another video for another time. I don't expect things from people, but that's another topic for another video. But I expect things of myself. You see, I don't expect them to understand me, number one. And you shouldn't either. But you should respect yourself to know that sometimes you got to back away from them. Because they don't get it. And we get that. That's why you keep coming back to these videos. Only a small amount of people understand these red light editions and i know when i'll be making these that i'll be speaking directly to somebody because people tell me that all the time like wow it's like you made this for me you were speaking and i understand that but only a only a small percentage will understand these red light editions and what i'm trying to say is you got to respect yourself by knowing your boundaries when you're dealing with these people. Because you can't expect them to respect your boundaries. So you got to be the one that, that moves the border between you and them. I do it all the time. I might be in a room full of people and I just step out. Somebody might see me standing in, in the hallway or something and be like, what's wrong, man? What's wrong? You all right? Yeah, I'm all right. Yeah, I'm good. Just had to take some time out to myself. He asked me, you all right, man? You good? I'm not going to tell them. They're not, gonna under they not going to understand. Have, have anybody ever did that to you? They like ask you like, hey, you doing all right, man? You doing good or, or whatever? And... You practice this stuff all the time anyway, without me even telling you. You'll say, yeah, I'm doing good, or ha ha ha, or, you know, go through the motions because you realize that you're going through something that other people can't fix. You see what I'm saying? And a lot of our life is just like that. We're going through things that other people can't fix. And that's when, see, see, this video can go into so many directions, I'm trying to stay on track. But let me give this example. Some things you're going through, and I know I come kind of getting off track, but it's, it's all good. Some of the things that you go through in life, you can only fix that problem. Like, they have doctors for, for certain body parts. You got eye doctors. They call them optometrists. You have pedi pediatricians. You got all different types of doctors. You got heart doctors who just study the heart. Doctors who study the foot, the hand, the nervous system. But then you got that internal part of you that only you can doctor. And that's why you tell that person when they come ask you that, hey, how you doing, man? You say, oh, I'm, I'm doing good. 
you understand already that they can't doctor that situation. That's when you have to go to God. And even when I say God, that's another thing. That's also a morality thing. What God? Which God? You see what I'm saying? Because I'm going to be real with y'all. I'm at the understanding now. When I be seeing some of these people, this is why I don't like to do group prayers. Because I know, man, how some of these people are. It's no way we worshiping the same God. It's no way we communicating with the same God. When they got their eyes closed and these um, human prison bars and whatever you want to call them, organic portals. I call them human prison bars now. But these human prison bars, when they bowing their head and you think they praying to the same God as you? The way they treat you? This is part of the reason why, why I got on this um, morality thing. It came from this um, very thing I'm telling you now. Like some of these people be praying and I be saying to myself, you got these people. These people on TV, these, all of these people you see, they be praying and you got people who pray and blow themselves up. And they'll say, Allah, Allahu Akbar, and they'll blow themselves up and kill all the people. And that's a form of morality to them. Then you got people who pray and, you know, you'll see pop, these pop musicians and these people who, who are like the Pied Pipers for the human prison ball world and they set the social norms and you got these people praying. These people who receive awards, the music awards, who put out all of these messages in the music and things that are contrary to what my morality is for. But in their mind, they praying and they saying, thank God for allowing me to win this award and I like to First of all, thank God. And I'd be saying to myself, the God that gave you that idea of that, what you doing, no way that's the same God I pray to. Y'all see what I'm saying? So that's why you even have to be careful when it comes to that. Because that word God is another thing that's overused. It's subjective. That's why you got all these different religions. Y'all see what I'm saying? Like all of these different religions, all of these different moralities. That's why I stick to myself. Because if I'm going to go down in this world, I'm going to go down. I'd rather go down by my own intuition, not following some cult leader. And, and if y'all notice that's why nobody can say this. Is why this Jaguar thing is like, in my morality, in my judgment, this is the best channel on YouTube. We come together, united souls, but at the same time, look at what I'm telling you right now. Follow your own intuition. You see what I'm saying? If we come together, it's based upon. A commonality in information. And I say it all the time. Just like this video right now. I'm not forcing anybody to listen. I'm not forcing anybody to agree. But if you do agree, in my sense of morality, that's a good thing. You are a jaguar. I mean... If I heard this very video myself, I would say, wow, this, these are some real gems and jewels. That's what I would say. And, you know, if you connect with me based upon that, based upon the information, we Jaguars in this thing together. Regardless of your race, regardless of your gender, regardless of your sexual orientation, I don't care. I'm not supporting your sexual orientation. If you gay or whatever, I'm just saying the information. 
whether you're a male, whether you're a female, the information is what counts on my side. Because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, we going to separate based on information or we going to come together based on information. That's what every war is about in this world. Information. It's information wars. That's what that's what that's what people have been fighting over for years. Propaganda, morality, Democrats and Republicans. Different ways of looking at things. And that's why I say, and I reiterate, if I'm going to make a mistake, I'd rather go down following my own intuition. I would feel more stupid walking over a cliff because I was following somebody else. You get what I'm saying? And that's what this whole channel is about. Living for yourself and not for others. Because I look at it like this. If I'm alive, I'm doing something right. I'm not in prison right now, so I'm doing something right. I'm breathing right now, so I'm doing something right. I'm in my I'm in my right frame of mind right now, meaning all of my faculties are working right now. I'm doing something right. And as long as I have these things going for me, there is still hope for me to make it out of this and entrapment of you know the secret wars us versus them this prison see the prison is not so much physical it's it's in the mind you see what i'm saying so when you start breaking these mental chains off of your mind this mental slavery when you get these mental chains off of your mind you are free that's the secret wars. That's what we speak about all the time. Breaking these mental chains. And it sounds like I'm preaching, don't I? It sound like I'm preaching right now. But guess what? This is more pure than religion itself. Analyze everything I'm saying. It sounds like religion, but when you're listening to it, when you listen to it, really, it's not. I'm only thing I'm saying is pure way, the pure way things supposed to be. You see what I'm saying? And I'm not telling you not. I believe in a higher source, but I believe that higher source. We are not supposed to be following other people's definition of that higher source. And that's why so many people have been betrayed in this world. That's why, that's why so many cult leaders have uh, come to power. That's why you have, you've, you've had people like Jim Jones, who was able to get those people to commit suicide, to drink poison, because they wasn't following the principles on this channel. Even when we come together, when we when we have our conference that we're going to do, yes, we're going to have a conference. We're going to meet in a hotel. It's going to be I'm going to have the platform still set up just like this. Freedom. One day I hope to buy some land and we come together and we just sit and we communicate and it's just it's a free pure gathering together. Of united souls. And the beauty of it is. You can still come together with people. That are free. When a person is free. There's nothing to fight. There's nothing to fight about. The reason why. There's so many wars in this world. Because people are not free. They bound. To. Somebody else's definition of everything instead of their own definition and until people get to that point and i know what i just said went over some people's heads but until people get to the point where you are free 
It's always going to be fighting. It's always going to be envy. It's always going to be jealousy. It's always going to be division. It's always going to be competition until you get to the point where you are free. Until you free your mind, change will never come. That's the level that I'm on right now. I have freed my mind from a lot of this entrapments. We've picked up a lot of bad habits in this world. And this is what this channel is about. Helping y'all break a lot of these bad habits that we have formed just by living in this world. And if you don't work on yourself... Every day you wake up, you just be ju- you you become just like them. Cause in his life, and I'm gonna leave you with this: two things can happen in his life. You either become more free every day, or you get deeper and deeper into the habits of everyday life, just like these everyday people. It's only two ways to go in this world: you either become more like them. Or you can turn and become more like us, the United Souls. Jaguars up, Jaguar Nation. Um, Leave your comments. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Hit the likes button. Share the video. Share the word. Let's get these subscriptions up. The battle is still on. Us versus them. But the United Souls, we are going to win. This is left side of the brain. Let me know what you think. Hit me up in the comments section. Add us on Instagram. And y'all hit me up on um, Instagram too. Like hit me up on the inbox. Check on me. Ask me how I've been and everything. I like I like communicating with y'all, you know? Hit me up in the comments section. Haven't been able to get to the comments as much as I would like to, but I'm going to get back on top of that too. I read every comment, but I got to get back to responding. And um, this is Left Side of the Brain. Hope you enjoyed tonight's Red Light Edition. Signing out. Peace.